Hello everyone, I've returned to Cypresswood Disc Golf Course. This time not for any sort of a scoring round, just a practice round of sorts. This is going to be putter only and I've only brought a couple putters. I've brought essentially a dart because I want to learn how to use that disc and uh, use it as an upshot disc. But I also am going to try to use it a little bit as a, as a driver. And I've also got some AVRs that I'm going to use for uh, putting. So I've got a throwing putter and a putting putter. I've got two darts and five or six AVRs. And this is basically what I'm going to be doing. Let's play. All right, so I'm still dealing with an injury, so I'm not going to be trying to go for any max power or max distance throws. I'm mostly looking at this as sort of practicing upshot training approaches and putting. Uh, I will try to drive a little bit off the tee, but I don't think I'm even going to come close to 200 feet on any of my drives. So anyways, hopefully I get this hyzer action down because that's what killed me last time is I didn't understand how much hyzer I needed to use to allow it to flip up. So. Fascinating. So it's still cut off to the right, so I'm going to have to try even more hydro. And that was my more flippy dart. That's the dart I've been using for the past, I don't know, I used it a year ago for upshots, up through about January of this year. This one is one I bought for one of my sons. He never used it, so it's basically a brand new dart. That went about 120 feet before it hit the tree, so that was probably on target for maybe about 100 feet, 140 feet. So let's go see what I've got. All right, so this one didn't even hit a tree, but it went about 10 feet further. <laughs> so yeah, that's uh, interesting. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, see how close I can get it to the basket. Wow, I didn't even aim for that tree. You know, some people, they aim for a tree in order to essentially miss it. I was aiming between that tree and another tree to sort of go between them. And of course, I hit the tree. So just a lesson learned. Focus more on the release than what you're aiming for. Both of those are putts. This is actually a tap in, so it's not worth practicing. So what I am gonna do is go over to the other putter and practice from there. Alrighty, so I'm about 20 plus feet from there, so let me see what I can do. Not good, but uh, this is what I'm here for, putting practice. When I got here, I didn't do any putting practice up front. I just started throwing, so I need to get better at this. One of the points I bring up is I feel like I perform worse on the course as opposed to at home. At home, I'm using a familiar basket and I'm putting with my putting putters. I've tried to ablate that by using my practice putters for this round, but it's not really helping. So I'm still living that rule where it's just tougher to perform on the court, so, or on the course, I should say. That went about 120 feet before it hit the ground and then rolled. So again, I've got to learn how to hyzer. Here we go. See how much hyzer I put on that and it still did that? So I've learned, I've got to learn to do aggressive hyzer. All right, so my red dart was actually about 15 feet closer to the basket, but a little bit further off that way. Again, this is a practice round, so I'm not necessarily trying to take the best shot all the time. I just want to practice throwing these. That was too high and it sailed that way. So I'm going to try to maybe get this one a little bit lower. There we go. 
Also, I'll point out the wind is heading that way, so I'll be throwing into the wind, so that makes it a little bit more understable. That's something I'm going to focus on as well. Um, the red disc traveled much further, much farther, but it went in that direction, and this is actually closer to the basket. I'm going to go ahead and putt from here because I like this look better. Wow, that was Anheuser on my part. Let's try some throws with less Anheuser. That was a late release. I basically hooked it like that. Grip, line, stance, grip, line, grip. So yeah, I can't get it to there putting normally, so I can only get close to there. I went up with it. I consider all of those very good approaches, with the exception of the dart, which I both anhyzered those, so, oh well. All right, I stacked all these on the dart that was furthest away, and I'm just gonna practice putting. This is about 12 feet from the pole. I stepped on this, rolled back. All right, stance, grip, grip. So now the wind is behind me as I'm throwing, so hopefully that'll help on this one. I feel like my putting stroke just isn't on, and I think part of it is I'm trying to putt for the cameras as opposed to just putt. But uh, anyways, let's throw. Okay, in theory, I should be able to dial that one in. Or maybe that's as dialed in as I can get. Yep, that's as dialed in as I can get. The second one's not terrible, but man, hope I dial this in by the end of the, the round. All right, the funny thing is the dart was only maybe about 10 feet further back than this white dart, but the red one was obstructed by some bushes there. But uh, there's now about a 20 mile per hour wind blowing from that direction. So that's gonna interfere with my putting, but I have no idea if you can even hear me. Good safe approach, approach I can put in from. That one's a little further back. That would be a tester for me at about 15 feet. Honestly, this is a more interesting distance for me to putt at, at about 20 feet as opposed to maybe 10 feet. So here we go. Whoa, that one sailed out of my hand. Whoa! Jesus Christ, that is insane. Wow, I barely threw that. Amazing. Okay, that was not fun. Imagine being this terrible at disc golf. Putting it out there for the public to see. Well, honestly, the lesson for me to take away from here is if there's that amount of wind, even if I'm only 15 feet away, just throw it the ground right next to the basket because a number of those sailed past the basket and would have been comebackers or much harder for me to try to putt, and they would I would have had to have putt in the wind. So it's best to think about that as a part of a golf game. So not just learning how to throw a disc and you learn how to not throw certain throws.
that was way too high. But it got me about 130 feet. We'll try to aim a little bit lower. I'm not used to throwing that much hyzer, guys. So I'm almost always trying to throw straight. Well, that turned into a sad, sad roller. It's probably 120 feet away. So let me ask you, what do you think I'm doing wrong? I think I'm not hyzering enough, but maybe my wrist angle isn't the right way. I don't know. I can really use some help. This is not something I'm good at. I'm a, probably the lowest skilled disc golfer on YouTube. I'll never be able to repeat that one again. That's a crazy amount of hyzer for me. That's about the limit of what I can throw. That may have been 160 max for both of those. All right, so as you know, I'm learning the game of disc golf. I'm going to actually practice putting these six putters from this dart, and then I'm going to go over there and practice it again from there. I think at this point it'd be safer for me to get as close to it, but not going past it as possible. Yeah, under the basket, I think it's a good play for me. So this is what I would be learning. Safe golf, so I don't give myself bogeys. Okay, every one of those I think I can make, with the exception of the first one, which I sailed, because that was an actual attempt to make it in. So, lesson to noobs and beginners like myself. Play smart, not dumb. Even that one went kind of far. All right, so underneath the stack of putters is my dart. And I'm gonna go ahead and practice putting. I'm gonna grab three at a time. Whoa, that sailed. Still dealing with the wind. Wow. So I'm looking at best case a double bogey on this hole. I don't know. <laughs> so remember, this is basically upshot approach and putting practice. Even though I'm practicing for drives, I'm not realistically going to try to throw darts more than 150 feet. But at this point, I'm struggling to even reach 150 feet because of my antics with them. So, I'm going to see what I can do. I tried doing that a little bit more. Maybe that helped. I didn't even have that in my hand well. I'm gonna go get that and re-throw it. This is stuck up there about 20 feet. I had to get a branch to bring it down. So I made the mistake of not even grabbing this right. Like I didn't even have it in my hand correctly. And the wind is going this way. Yeah, that's terrible. All right, so both red and white ended up about 150 feet, 140 feet away from the tee pad, but this one was much further that way. Yeah, I'm not gripping this very well. All right, so when I went to retrieve this disc, the camera fell over, so there may be some debris on the lens. I can't really tell. Regardless, I need to practice.
Alright, just so you know, odds are very high I'm not going to make it past both these trees with both these discs. That rolled about 10 feet in the grass. Destiny. They both went where the dart that I threw in the challenge last week went. Amazing. All right, just so you know, both of these discs landed identically the same distance away from the tee pad and the basket. This is slightly away from the tree, so I'm gonna throw from here. Off some putts. Wind pushed that one down. That was just me being offline. That was me throwing low. Hanging out. Amp side. Basically all I'm learning, I just can't drive and I just can't putt. It'll never be anything less than amazing how much turn these two darts have now when one of them is effectively new, the other one is used, but uh, I just think it's insane how understandable these are when I throw them or I'm doing something to them to make them turn, but I don't feel like I'm anhyzering much. All right, so I was actually here in my last game with Sean, and I need a hyzer to have it hook that way, but since all it does is go that way, I'm not sure I can even hyzer it that much. The other play is to go that way and let it turn because that's all I seem to do when I throw. That got me close. See how much hyzer uh, I had and it went straight. So as you can probably see, the red disc is right there. The basket is that way and the white disc is here. I'm about 80, 90 feet away, so what I need to do is use an actual putter and not these, but I'm probably going to use some putters and then throw this. That went right next to the basket. Nice tree bounce prevented it from going too far. That was a terrible tree bounce. That was some tree love, but it's terrible positioning. All right, now I've got three discs to try to get close to it. Let me see what I can do with my left hand. All three of those are next to the basket. Okay, I stacked all these on top of where the white dart landed. Now, more putting practice.
Slowly but surely, I'm starting to show a little bit of improvement on putting towards the end of the round. All right, with the way these turn, it's going to be extremely hard to curve them that way, but I'm going to try. In the fairway. Man, that is crazy. Okay, I'll have to review footage and see what I did there. All right, so I may have actually made 150 feet from the end of the tee pad. Now, normally I would try to throw this. It actually turns so much easier when I do that. Now I'm going to throw it that way, but with hyzer. Wow. The downside is I'll never be able to pull that one off again. Now this got maybe about 100 feet, less, less maybe. But the only got closer to 180 feet, I think. But anyways, I'm going to try to approach this towards the basket. I like that. That's within putting range. I mean, not putts that I can make today, but generally speaking, in a game where I'm actually geared up to play a game rather than a plastic uh, practice round, I might be able to nail that one. All right, so I'm now finally within putter range on a throw. I'm going to use three of my putters for this one, and then I'm going to go to the other one and use the other three. And there's wind blowing directly towards me in the camera. Wow. Okay, that's the last one I try to run. This one's going to be another safe bid because I got to practice safe bids for games. That is perfect. That's a drop in. That's what I want. Sailed it. All right, so as you, as you might expect for the white dart, I'm about 15 feet away, so now I've got to practice putting. It's actually some uneven ground there. There we go. Stance. Grip. Line. Wow. That was me undercooking it. If anyone hasn't seen my Yips video, I go into detail that that is something that's happened to me frequently. It literally just happened again. Two Yips in a row. I tried powering through it. I tried powering through it. Wow, that's four Yips in a row. Elevator action. Well, that's just terrible putting. All right, so again, if you're someone familiar with playing with darts or throwing putters as a driver off the tee or anyone that's experienced this sort of issue, please comment below and let me know what I can do to correct this because I don't turn drivers this much. And I'm turning putters like crazy and not my experience, experience that this is normal. That's almost 200 feet. Maybe 180. My first genuine hyzer throw where it fades out towards the end like I would expect. That is crazy. That is crazy. You know, and the funny thing is, it shouldn't be crazy to expect a disc to do what you think it should do, but it's weird. Anyways. Oh, I just cooked that way too high. I just went like that, and that wasn't my intent. I need to go like that. There we go. 
And it's amazing that it does that, and I'm essentially doing that. At least that's what it appears to me. So I'm going to have to try to hide the these around this tree. And since I'm about 80 feet out, this is actually when I would start using putters, but I need to learn how to use these darts as approach discs. That was just lazy. There we go. And it didn't hyzer like I expected, so I have to like throw it like that is what it appears to me I need to do. Let me just try a putter. And I'm doing the same thing. So basically I just gotta learn how to throw putters like people do. Alright, so I just stacked these in reverse order, darts at the top, putters at the bottom. I'm just here to play safe golf. That was too high, but it landed without rolling or moving. The goal is not to get these in the basket, but close for an easy tap in. And I'm good enough to do that. Easy putting range, even for now. All right, of all the layups that I did, this aviar at the very bottom is the one that's furthest from the basket. Now I'm gonna put the rest of these in. That's going to do it. All right, so to be honest, I thought I would learn better how to throw these discs while I was playing this round, in particular the darts. I mean, I know how to putt with the putters, even though it doesn't look like it today, but I do know how to throw these aviars about 100 feet, and these darts I can throw about 100 feet as well with some accuracy, but anything beyond 100 feet, they just turn too much, and I'm not able to throw these with the level of skill that I can drivers, because drivers are more naturally overstable. You know what, I'm fine with that. But uh, I will of course be studying the videotape as I'm putting together this video. Again, if you have any constructive comments, please put them down below. I definitely want to learn and become a better disc golfer, even though I'm not terribly good at uh, <laughs> doing that by myself. Anyways, thank you very much for watching and have a great day.